What if the very pill meant to protect your heart was quietly putting your brain at risk? Over 200 million people worldwide take statins to lower cholesterol. In the U.S. alone, nearly one in four adults over 40 are on statins. They're praised for reducing heart attacks and strokes, but there's a side effect that's raising red flags. Thousands of patients have reported memory loss, confusion, and brain fog after starting statins. And in 2012, even the FDA issued a warning stating that statins may cause cognitive impairment. So what's the truth? Can statins really lead to dementia? Or is it all just coincidence? In this video, we'll break down the latest research, explore how statins might affect brain chemistry, and reveal which types may be riskier for your memory than others. Whether you're taking statins now, or know someone who is, this could be the most important health video you'll watch today. Stay with us, because what you don't know about your medication could impact not just your heart, but your mind. What are statins and how do they work? Statins are among the most commonly prescribed drugs in the world, especially for people over 50. But what exactly are they? Statins are a class of medications used to lower LDL cholesterol, often called bad cholesterol. They work by blocking an enzyme in your liver known as HMG-CoA reductase, which plays a crucial role in producing cholesterol. By slowing down this enzyme, statins reduce cholesterol levels in the blood, which in turn lowers the risk of heart attacks and strokes. Some of the most prescribed statins include Adervastatin, Lipitor, Simvastatin, Zocor, Rosavastatin, Crestor, Pravastatin, Pravacol. Doctors often prescribe these drugs to people who have high cholesterol or are at risk for cardiovascular events. On paper, it sounds like a miracle solution, and for many it is. Statins have helped millions avoid life-threatening cardiac problems. But there's a side to this story that doesn't get talked about enough. While statins lower cholesterol, they also affect other pathways in the body, including in the brain. Some users report muscle pain, fatigue, and most concerning of all, cognitive issues like memory loss or confusion. Could the same drug protecting your heart also be quietly harming your brain? That's the question we'll explore today. By looking at the science, the research, and the real-life experiences of people who've taken statins. What does the research say? When it comes to statins and memory loss, the research is both fascinating and controversial. For years, statins were believed to be completely safe for the brain. But as more people began reporting memory problems, confusion, and even symptoms resembling early dementia, researchers started asking questions. Could statins be interfering with brain function in subtle ways? In 2012, the FDA issued a public warning acknowledging that statins may cause cognitive side effects, including memory loss and confusion. While they noted the effects were non-serious and reversible, the statement sparked a wave of scientific inquiry. One large observational study published in pharmacotherapy that same year analyzed over 4,000 cases of cognitive problems linked to statins. The researchers found a strong pattern, suggesting the connection might be more than coincidence. Meanwhile, a 2015 review in JAMA Internal Medicine concluded that some people, particularly older adults, experienced short term memory issues after starting statins. However, not all studies agreed. Some even found protective effects, especially in people at high risk for vascular dementia. So, why the conflicting results? The truth lies in the complexity of brain health. Factors like age, genetics, pre-existing cognitive decline, and the type and dosage of statin all play a role. Lipophilic statins, which cross into the brain more easily, may be more likely to cause memory problems than hydrophilic ones. In short, while statins don't cause dementia in everyone, a growing body of evidence suggests that some individuals, especially older adults, 
may be vulnerable to statin-related cognitive decline. This isn't fearmongering. It's a call for awareness, personalized medicine, and honest conversations between patients and doctors. How statins might affect the brain. To understand how statins might contribute to memory loss or dementia, we need to look at how they interact with your brain on a biochemical level. First, consider this. Your brain is made up of nearly 60% fat, and cholesterol is a key component. It helps form cell membranes, create synapses, where neurons communicate, and build myelin, the protective sheath around nerves. Statins lower cholesterol, but lowering it too much may deprive the brain of something it truly needs to function. Next is coenzyme Q10, or Coke 10. Statins don't just reduce cholesterol, they also block the same pathway that produces Coke 10, a vital nutrient that fuels energy production in your cells. Without it, the mitochondria in your brain cells may struggle to function, potentially leading to brain fog, poor concentration, and mental fatigue. Then there's the issue of blood brain barrier penetration. Some statins, like simvastatin and atorvastatin, are lipophilic, meaning they dissolve in fat and can easily cross into the brain. Once there, they may interfere with neurotransmitters, affect inflammatory pathways, and even alter neuronal signaling, disruptions that could contribute to memory issues. Lastly, there's the growing theory that statins may increase the risk of neuroinflammation, especially in aging brains. Chronic inflammation in the brain has been strongly linked to dementia, including Alzheimer's disease. To sum it up, while statins are designed to protect your heart, they may, under certain conditions, compromise brain health by starving neurons of cholesterol, depleting CoQ10, and interfering with essential brain functions. That doesn't mean everyone will be affected, but if you're experiencing memory lapses while taking statins, this connection is worth discussing with your doctor. Protective effects? The other side of the argument. Now let's take a step back, because the statin story isn't all negative. Some researchers argue that statins may actually protect the brain, not harm it. How is that possible? The answer lies in statins' anti-inflammatory and vascular benefits. Chronic inflammation and poor blood flow are key contributors to a type of dementia known as vascular dementia. Since statins reduce systemic inflammation and improve blood vessel function, they may help prevent this form of cognitive decline. In fact, several large-scale studies have found lower rates of dementia in statin users, especially those with a history of heart disease or diabetes. For example, a study in neurology, 2013, followed over 400,000 people and found that statin use was associated with a reduced risk of Alzheimer's disease, particularly in men. Other studies have shown similar results in people with high cardiovascular risk profiles. Researchers suggest that statins might help by improving blood flow to the brain, reducing mini-strokes or silent brain infarcts, lowering oxidative stress and plaque formation in blood vessels. But here's the catch. These benefits seem to apply mostly to people with existing cardiovascular disease. For healthy seniors with low to moderate risk, the protective effects are less clear. And some scientists warn that while statins may reduce the risk of vascular dementia, they could still worsen cognitive function in other ways especially if cholesterol drops too low or if lipophilic statins penetrate the brain. So, while there's potential for statins to help the brain in some people, the picture is complex. Seniors are especially vulnerable. If there's one group that needs to be especially cautious with statins, it's seniors. As we age, our brains become more sensitive to chemical changes, and that includes how we process medications. Statins may affect older adults differently for several reasons. First, the blood-brain barrier becomes more permeable with age, meaning drugs that previously had minimal brain impact might now cross more easily. 
lipophilic statins like simvastatin or atorvastatin can enter the brain and may interfere with key neurological functions. Second, many seniors already have naturally lower cholesterol levels. Further reducing cholesterol, especially LDL, may starve the brain of a critical component for healthy nerve function, myelin repair, and hormone production. Third, polypharmacy is common in older adults. Most take multiple prescriptions daily, increasing the risk of drug interactions and compounding side effects, including memory problems, confusion, or mood changes. Finally, aging brains are more vulnerable to Coke 10 depletion, which can impair energy production in neurons and contribute to fatigue or cognitive fog. For these reasons, many experts recommend personalized statin therapy for seniors, balancing cardiovascular benefits against cognitive risks. If you're over 65 and on statins, it's worth having a thoughtful, individualized conversation with your healthcare provider. What you can do If you're taking statins and concerned about memory loss, don't panic, but do take action. Here are seven smart steps you can take right now to protect your brain health without compromising your heart. 1. Talk to your doctor. This is the most important step. Never stop statins on your own. Instead, bring up your symptoms, whether it's forgetfulness, mental fog, or confusion, and ask whether your medication could be contributing. 2. Consider switching statins. Lipophilic statins like simvastatin and atorvastatin can cross into the brain more easily. Ask your doctor whether a hydrophilic statin like pravastatin or rosavastatin might be safer for you. 3. Ask about CoQ10 supplements. Statins reduce CoQ10, a vital nutrient for brain cell energy. Supplementing with CoQ10 may reduce brain fog and support mitochondrial function. 4. Recheck your cholesterol goals. LDL levels below 70 mg per deciliter may increase cognitive risks, especially in older adults. Make sure your targets are appropriate for your age and overall health. 5. Emphasize lifestyle changes. A heart-healthy lifestyle, rich in vegetables, omega-3s, movement, and sleep, can improve your cholesterol naturally and reduce your reliance on medication. 6. Keep a cognitive journal. Track symptoms like forgetfulness, mood swings, or sleep disturbances. This helps your doctor identify patterns and make informed changes. 7. Get a second opinion if needed. If your concerns aren't being heard, consider seeing a neurologist or integrative medicine specialist for a more brain-focused assessment. Remember, statins aren't one-size-fits-all. If you're experiencing changes in memory or cognition, speak up. The earlier you act, the more likely you can protect your brain and tailor a treatment that truly works for you. I. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with someone who needs to hear this and hit subscribe for more health insights. Remember, your brain matters just as much as your heart, so stay informed, ask questions, and always advocate for your own health. Thanks for watching, and take care of your mind.